Hey what's up guys today I'm going to show you how to make a media player in scratch so let's get started So let's see what I've made so here you can see this is a song selector here you can see you can just select any song and click on play and you can also just stop it you cannot pause it it will just restart the song when you play it again and you can also just choose any other song even when when it's playing and you can also switch the song switch to the next song by using this button next you can also go to previous one so let's get started so first of all you need some things so here you can see we have many things here like the play or the stop button or the pause button then we have the resumed button then we have forward button and backward button so then just segregate them like this like this is the resume button you can just duplicate it and delete everything else leaving it and just name it resumed so i have just named it resumed here then we have the restart button it should be called pause button but it is not pausing the music so i just named it restart then we have the backward button we have forward button so let's get started so first of all we'll make the playing system then we'll make this ui like uh, like this so let's get started first with the code of this so first of all you need three songs like the i have chosen from here like you can go to scratch library click here and click on loops so you can just choose any of them so i have chosen bossa bossa nova emotional piano and movie one so let's get started with the code so first of all when the green flag clicked hide so we'll just work with clones instead of the sprite itself for multiple buttons so we can just make it here like when the green flag clicked hide so now we'll make a block you can watch my video on my algorithm for making scratch games to learn more about this block but i'll just show you how to make this so this is called the build block so you can just make a block called build then number input with num written here then a label it should be written start here then you can add an input again and name it start and the without screen if it should be checked click on ok and just just make a variable called clone number for the spread only make it hidden and just set clone number to start and then just repeat number times change clone number by one and create clone of myself so it will just like make clones and we won't be able to see them making but they will be created faster so i've just made the script so we just need to input the number number of clones we need so we need three like the buttons like play on pause and then we need this and this so we have three things start from zero so now to work with this you can just make like when i when i start as a clone go to front layer and show so it will just show the clones when they are created we have three now if clone number is equal to one so it will just like when it is created the clone is created it will just detect the clone number and just move into the script so if it is two it will not it will not go in this but either it will go in this with if clone number is equal to two first of all let's make this so first we'll make the middle button like this play and pause button so we'll do like switch to costume first of all switch to costume restart restart i mean paused and we'll make uh, two variables called playing with a question mark for all sprites and song number for all sprites you can make the, them hidden if you want so it will just switch to costume restart so this is this is for a reason because when we start the game it will be like on the it will be paused so set playing is equal to zero if playing is equal to one the song is playing if it is zero song is not playing and also set song number to one so the first song should be selected by default so now what we'll do is just forever if else touching mouse pointer just set brightness effect to 10 then duplicate this put it here brightness effect to zero so it will just create a like active effect like when we just hover mouse over it it will just glow and now we'll just put here like if mouse down wait until not mouse down so it will just detect a click like this so if mouse down wait until not mouse down so it should now detect if the song is playing or not so if else equal to operator playing is equal to one so the song is playing so we need to stop the song so first of all it will just set playing to zero and also just stop all sounds and if it is not playing like if playing is equal to zero 
so it will just like duplicate this and put it here set playing to one and instead of tuple songs you can just put here start sound and you can just directly put here the variable song number so whichever song number is selected it will just play accordingly you can also put names but if you don't like names so you can just put here numbers scratches scratches in a smart enough to just detect this so also we need to change the costume so it will just switch to costume like if it is playing and it is stopped so it will just switch to costume restart and duplicate this put it here and when when we play it it will just switch to costume resumed so here we have that working so now for now just set build to one and let's check it so you can see we have the pause button or say restart button when you click on it it is just playing the song one and you can also pause it or just stop it by clicking on it it is working fine so now we'll make the forward and backward button so let's set it to three duplicate this whole script if clone number is equal to two switch to costume forward so we'll make the forward first and you can just just remove these things like if playing is equal to one and things you can just like leave this and just change your uh, change song number by one so it will just exceed the song numbers like if there are five songs it will just go to six so to prevent that you can just put here an if else statement if else put an equal to operator song number is equal to three i have three songs so i'll just put here three and just put this in else and in the if you can just put here set song number two one so it will just go to one then two three and then one so it will not just exceed the number then you can duplicate this again if clone number is equal to three switch to costume backward and instead of this you can just put if song number is equal to one it will just set uh, set song number to three and change song number by minus one or negative one just join them and just join when with the main script so here we have the script ready this is for all for all three so now let's see so here you can see this is now working you can just play and i can switch the song like clicking on this song is switched again here you can see and i can also go back so this is working pretty fine so now we'll make the media selector like media selection so you need costumes like first of all i have this layout this is not needed i need this layout like we have the background we have the select song title we have three song names we have these block boxes these might look like one box but these are different blocks like here you can see this is attached to this attached to this they should not overlap they should be like equal size and just look like buttons so these should be dark like if it is the song is not selected then we have the background you can just segregate the background like duplicate this and just delete all three of them by dissecting the background like this i've already done it name it background then we have like you can just duplicate this delete the title and the background you have these three so yeah i can just duplicate three times just delete these two in the first one delete the first one and third one in the second one then delete these two in the third one so here we have the not playing buttons so i've already segregated them like not playing one not playing two and not playing three you can just increase the brightness a bit so it will just look like this instead of this so if the song is selected it will just look like this so name this player playing one playing two playing three so we have all playings and not playings and also the background so we have segregated everything so now let's get started with the coding so when the green flag clicked hide we gonna work with clones here too so you can just go to media player and just drag this build definition here and also you can just drag it but this will be very big so just duplicate this delete everything like this script just leave this remove this costume changer and just drag it here and just remove it from here here we have it so now just clean it up like this so now you can just put the build block here like build we have like the background the three buttons so four and start from zero so here we have this so you can just put your switch to costume background and we don't need anything for the background now just duplicate the switch to if clone number is equal to two switch to costume not playing one and just you can just put your forever if else touching mouse pointer just set brightness effect to 20 or you can say 10 duplicate this put it here and zero and i'll just put the same script like if mouse down wait until not mouse down so it will just detect a click so now we'll just put here switch to costume like 
playing one as it is not playing one so it will be playing one and also it will just set song number to one so this is a very simple script and you can also put one more script like if else put a equal to operator song number is equal to one or the song number here if setting song number to one it should be one here so it will just switch to costume if it is one so it will be just like playing one duplicate this if it is not not playing one so you can just put it here above this not inside of that clean this up and now we have this script so we won't duplicate and just change the costumes we instead make a block called like clone number c num then we have song number s num gone okay and just put it inside of this just put clone number here and song number here and also you can just make your not playing one just in the join block you can just put your not playing and you can just drag this song number here and you can just put it here duplicate this and put it here too duplicate this put it here and instead of not playing you can just put here playing and also duplicate this playing one and just put it here so it will just detect automatically the number so now we'll just put here like clone number is equal to 2 song is 1 duplicate this clone number is 3 song is 2 duplicate this clone number is 4 song number is 3 so here we have all of these you can also just add a like little song in here so to detect if you have multiple blocks here and you can just put this here here you can see the first one is selected you can just select second or third here you can select this i am selecting second one emotional piano so this is working movie one song boss nova so you can see this is working we have made a working media player so this was all for this tutorial you can just make it better by adding some menu uh, making a better menu you can just make it like add multiple songs you cannot pause the music anyway in any way in scratch 3 at least i don't know about scratch 4 but this is all for this tutorial so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe for more content like this you can just check out my channel for any tutorial like this so thank you